Stephanie. Okay. Uh, she was occupied with her daughter here. Both are denying any injuries. Um, she okay. said she has no medical history, she said. She has bad tires. It's kind of slick. There's a lot of traffic. Cars are down and going through. Did I make a diesel clear by? She's not requesting transport for us. There's no laser hazards with the vehicle. Okay. Alrighty. She's at her house. Right, right there. there. Right where? Yeah. Right on that street. <laughs> okay. So I can just have him. Uh, my phone got smashed. Okay. So I, I don't uh, have his no, number, so I'm just going to walk over there. Or go to Metro and get a new phone. I'm going to have you hang out here for a little bit, okay? Because i got to do a crash investigation as well. Sure. You have your insurance and your registration for the vehicle? Of course. Where were you headed? I was, I was going downtown because I have an appointment. Okay. Where do you have an appointment at? Um, drug court. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and I was late, but I wasn't, like, speeding or anything. But I've never been down this route. So, this road before I was just trying to make a shortcut and I was trying to turn and look how bad our, our tires are well his tires my car's in the shop okay whose car is this this is my husband's but I'm insured on it okay train registration there you go I'm probably late anyway so now Vincent's your husband yes well we'll come along okay is that it is that what you're looking for or you need something yep no this is perfect I just called him. He said just call our tow truck sign. Okay. And she was in her car seat. Oh yeah, shotgun. Okay. And okay. you had your seatbelt on. Oh yeah. Okay. Always. So you don't want me to call a tow truck? You said you have someone that'll tow it? Yeah, because it's like 50 bucks. Okay. He, won't even, he probably only charge me. Nice. All right. Cool. Well, well I'm going to work right on now, a crash then. report um, and start getting everything up and together. Um, okay. Since it was just you with the property damage, I think this is a city-owned gate. So I'll just document that. Okay. Um, I mean, so give me just it, a second I mean, if you guys just want to hang out. I know. Um, can I, before I go, so what happened? So, I have an appointment downtown, and I was late, I wasn't speeding, but I'd never been down this road before, and I went to go turn, but his tires, this is my husband's truck, his tires are so bald that, like, the brakes went out. You're saying the tires are bald? You didn't see the fence that was in front of you, or what happened? Oh, I see the So why, why, why aren't you, why, how fast were you going? Not fast at all. At all. Some, some serious damage to the fence. I was not going fast. There's my husband right there. Daddy with the boat, daddy with the boat. Camera is 1626. I said, don't worry about it. He's like, oh, I'm fine. Okay. 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 I have a GPS in my car. And his, this is his truck. Because mine needs a new radiator. And uh, we have a mobile mechanic. And he's like, he's blowing us off. So, I mean, he's in. Yeah, he's, yeah, we've been together 15 years. He's older than me. <laughs> It's our daughter. It's her biology. Hi! It hit me! What? It ran out in front of me! What ran out in front of you? The fence! Is you alright, honey? She's fine, babe. Oh, yeah. What? Is she alright? We are fine. Is everybody alright? Yeah, we're good. What's you do? I cut down here because I was going downtown, babe. Down here in Southport. I know. And I didn't see. I mean, I've seen it, but I tried to, like... You didn't hit any other cars? No, just the fence. fence. So, yeah, this fence is it. Yeah, because the front, because you have front wheel drive, and the freaking... Sorry, Dad. Baby, it's not your fault. So that's total. It is. Yeah. So all we got down was the old 97 Ford. Oh, you know what? I don't know. What do you want me to do? Shit happens, buddy. Okay? I know. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna blow up. I'm not gonna scream. As long as my baby's all right and you're okay, 
My baby's all right. That's all right. Do you think she'd be on the influence I don't think so. She's in drug court right now. And she's checking in every day. Every day she's doing a pee test. Well, no, every day she's doing a meeting. And every other Monday, Wednesday, Friday, she does a, um, a drop. It's so odd that just straight into a fence like this. It's to me, too. It doesn't make any sense. To me, too. But, so, I mean... Yeah, but she's got a, she I'm not, has I'm a not psychiatrist. That's why I'm speaking no, about it. she does go to a psychiatrist, and I went with her the other day, and he changed her her medications, and she was like falling asleep a little bit before I left the house. I was going to go crab. What medication I don't know what it's what it is, but it's too strong. I can tell you that right now. The doctor made a mistake because I told her I said whatever you're on. So I tried to wake her up this morning, and she was like really really hard to wake up. And I said, yeah, no, she goes, I think the dose he gave me is too strong. And that's her doctor. Do that's her, no, it's her doctor that gave it to her. I don't think she's under any uh, narcotics, uh, illegal. But I think that the sleeping pills that this doctor gave her are too strong. I do agree. She said the brakes failed. What did he put you on, your doctor? Your sleeping pills. Well, what did you tell me this morning? It was too strong. Oh, the mere test. I'm not tired. Yeah, well, you might not feel tired. The county dairy is not available. All right, Stephanie. Um, so I've completed my crash investigation based on the impact, based on. Everything I've got, all the information that I need there. Mm -hmm. um, but now is the part where I'm changing hats. I'm going from a crash investigation to a DUI investigation. So I do believe that you're under the influence of narcotics or alcohol. Hey, Pancho. So I'm going to be doing a DUI investigation. Oh, can you come with me? Yeah, I'm um, not, though. Okay. Um, could you do me a favor and just set that stuff down? Sure. And then take your backpack off? Yeah. Trying to emergency. You can set that stuff down right on the seat, or you can put it in your backpack. I'm not putting your backpack. I'm buying the t-shirt. Do we right down the seat? Okay. Then come around over here for me. Okay. Have you had anything to drink today? Any alcoholic beverages? You don't drink alcohol. Okay. Have you taken any narcotics in the last 12 hours? Um. When I first got this morning, I took one diaz diazepine. Diazepine? Yeah, because I'm prescribed three a day. I took one this morning. I took one uh, Sovitex with naloxin, because that's what I'm pres prescribed. That's the, like the tongue? Yeah. Like the so sublinguals? Because I was on the stronger one. So diazepine and naloxone? Uh -huh. When did you take your naloxone? In the morning, same time I took my dad's. What time was that? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock? Yeah. Okay. Have you taken anything else since then? Because it's 4.30 and you still seem a little out of it. You see your eyes are drooping as I'm talking to you. You're having trouble standing straight up. So. No, I'm not having trouble. Okay, okay well, you're leaning on the car when I first started talking to you. Um, so you have not taken anything since 8 a.m. this morning no, when you took I. your prescribed diazepine and naloxone. Yeah. Okay. I think I really would take my daughter in the guard box. I don't know, but I do know that fire called us because you were slurring your speech and you seemed intoxicated. Plus, the only thing that I have to go off of here... I was here, slurring my speech when? When you're talking to them and you're still kind of slurring it a little bit now. Plus the contact. That's how I talk. Okay. There's also no skid marks. You hit straight through a fence. Okay. There's no turn. You didn't try to turn. Nothing. So, the way that you're acting... Just, I'm just going to evaluate you for DUI, okay. but I'm going to grab some stuff out of my vehicle. We're going to run you through some field sobriety tests, pass all of those. We'll get you on your way, okay? As you said, you're kind of like this, but you are also been prescribed a lot of medication. Yeah, I have. Even though you're prescribed it, that doesn't mean you can drive on it, you know what I mean? Right, but no, I took my sleeping pills last night. Okay. So, they don't mean me groggy in the morning or anything, so. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just sit tight for me right here, okay? All right, Stephanie, so first test I'm going to do, or the first um, exercise I'm going to do is called the horizontal gaze nystagmus. So are you wearing glasses or car? Are you wearing contacts? No. Okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna check with I'm gonna check your eyes. I need you to stand with your feet together, with your hands by your side, just like this. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna stand like this, hands by your side. Okay. You're gonna do that until I tell you to stop. Okay. Stands right here by your side. Okay. You're gonna look at the stimulus. Stimulus is gonna be my pen. Okay. You're gonna look right at the tip of my pen. Mm -hmm. Right top. Just right here. Yep. Uh -huh. Oh, you want to follow Oops, it? Sorry. So if you're right here, you're gonna follow the tip of my pen. You're just gonna keep okay. looking in the eye. Don't turn your head. Just use your eyes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, you're going to put your left foot on the line, put your right heel against the toe of your left foot like this. So left foot on the line, right foot in front like this. Okay. Okay, you're going to put your arms down at your side like this. Mm -hmm. You're going to stay like that until I tell you otherwise, okay? okay. So do that now. Do the left, right, left. So left foot on the line, mm -hmm. right foot in front of it with your heel touching the toe. Okay. Then you put your hands down at your side. Just like the other test. So you're just gonna stay like that while I read I you the instructions, okay? Yeah. These are your shoes, so. Okay. Do you understand? I need you to stand like that until the test starts, okay? Oh, okay, we're starting it. So left foot in, uh -huh. right foot in front, hands down to your side. You're not walking yet, you're just I'm standing. Not that clear night. Okay, I need you to just stand just like this. Oh. Left foot on the line, right foot in front, hands down to your side. Okay. Okay, you need you to stay like that while I read you the instructions, okay? I'm nervous too. If you fall off the line, just go right back to your starting point. I just got into an accident, so. Okay. Go straight to it. Alright, when I tell you to start, you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps on the line, turn, and take nine heel to toe steps back down the line. Okay. One. Hands to your side. Oh. Hands on your side, <laughs> heel to toe. Okay, let me kind of move up. So move sure. Up. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, seven, one thousand one, one thousand two. Look at your toe. Huh? Look at your toe. Oh, I'm sorry. One thousand one, one thousand two. One, I can't stand on one leg. Just keep fall. going. If you fall down, just pick it, pick it right back up. 1,001, 1,002. So you see his driver's side mirror, or passenger side mirror? Uh-huh. I need you to just turn and face and stand and stare right at that mirror. Uh-huh. So stand just like this. Uh-huh. Do it now. Face the mirror. No, you don't have to walk over there. Come here. Oh. This mirror right here. Oh, I thought you were that one. Nope. Passenger side. And then put your hands behind your back. What? You're under arrest for suspicion to deal. I think my partner's going to talk to him right now. If you want to put your daughter in the truck, you can, but she's going to go with us today, okay? She's going to rest. She's under some influence. She's not able to do any of the tests. She's failing them. I honestly do believe it's that sleep control. And if, if that's the case, then she's also not supposed to be instructed to take sleep control while driving. You know? No, no. That's she was supposed to take half dose. I don't know if she took a half dose. I don't know, but I agree. we don't feel comfortable. Okay. Letting her go when she had a daughter. So we're not saying she would do will, ill will to her. But no, I know. With where the breaking point, where she hit that fence, I said, is like she ran right through last it. Minute. She drove right through that fence. It looks to me that way too. There's no skid marks here. I mean, she just drove right through the fence. She's she's unable to do any of the tests. She can't do any of them. I was, she, I was wondering she, if she, she is. She cannot do them. She just okay. She's failed at some point in each other. Okay, so, so now she's in drug court. Yeah. Now she can't get out of Christmas or nothing, I guess. That I don't know. She needs to get with the probation officer. I assume she needs to get with the probation officer. She's not on probation. She's um, in drug court. Okay, so that's fine. Um, let's just get out of the road. Um, DUIs or misdemeanors, so she should have a bond. So Please. just yeah, but when you're in drug court, I don't know. That that I, have a bond. that I don't that I don't that I don't know. But I know she was going to yeah. see 
uh, we did about four or five Danielle. tests for her. Did you, she can't do any of them? No, she's not doing She's not passing them. I, I tell you what, this morning I went in to wake her up because she sleeps with her. Yeah. And she just, it's like a zombie. And she's kind of like, and if it's the medication, you can go to the psychiatrist. Yeah, Dr. And Gordon. explain what's going on. But we, we're not, I'm not a psychiatrist. No. She's not a psychiatrist. I believe it is. So we honestly, can only go based on what evidence we have. Yeah. Honestly, so, I know she had a drug problem, and I know that she's been good since she got arrested okay. twice. The second time she got arrested, I called the cops. Okay. Fine. Okay. I don't know. Cool, just huh? stand right here. Just lean up against the car. I talked to my husband. I didn't even do anything. Well, you drove through a fence and you just failed the failed sobriety test. So. I'm not <laughs> drunk. Okay. That's ridiculous. I messed up. Bro. You know I'm gonna miss my daughter's Christmas. I don't think you'll be in jail until Christmas, but. And don't make that decision. All right, since you're detained, um, I'm going to ask you some more questions, but you have rights while I do so. So I'm going to read them to you. Um, you have the right to remain silent. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to us now? About what? I just told you. I know. Do you want to talk to me? That's part of the questions is yes or no. Do you want to talk to me? Yeah, I've been talking to you. Though. I know. I just, now that you're in custody, you do have rights. I like to make sure that I read them I know, to but you. I'm not messed up. So this morning at 8 a.m. Yeah. You took what? I took a diazepam, a, a five milligram. I prescribed it. Mm-hmm. Okay, and it's, it's Suboxone. Okay. Okay. That's the sublingual naloxone. Yes. Okay. And you haven't taken anything since then at 8 a.m. No, I don't drink. No. Okay. What's the usual effects for your diazepam? I just got put on it. Are you used to it? Have you taken it a lot? I know no, your no, husband I've... said that you have some issues, that no. they overdosed you. No. And that, that you're taking too much. No, the sleeping pills I was taking before. Okay. But you you haven't had any issues? They told you you can drive yeah, all day? Yeah, they told me, yeah. Okay. So it's fine. Okay. All right, were you distracted by anything as you were driving before you hit the, ran into the fence? Or you just... I was calling on my phone. You have to be yeah. And she's always distracting me. Give me your phone, Mommy. Give me your phone. And watch cartoons. Yeah. Why'd you go this way? Because I was trying to do a cut, um, a shortcut because of traffic, and I was late. Okay. Randizer? Yeah. You did already? Yeah. You wanted to just ask her about, about that? Yeah. What's that? I don't know. They, my husband has a clean. I just found out. Yeah. This is. That's an old wallet. This Man. is not your wallet? That's that was in the purse that you were wearing. Yeah, but it's my old wallet. Be truthful to us. Yeah, I'm now's the time to be honest. Be truthful. Yeah, it was probably in there. And I probably didn't clean that side out. Honestly. Seriously. What's in it? Nothing. So from the last time they, I got arrested. So what do you use that? What's the syringe for then? Why is it in your purse still? When I got out of jail, my husband cleaned out all my shit. I left my purse at home. You see how it looks though? You, you get you get yeah, I that? see now how it looks, yeah. Take diazepam. Yeah. And 
There's Xanax. For Xanax. So you have Xanax mixed with, what's the yellow one? Diazepam. So you put the diazepam and the Xanax in there together. Why is it? They're both benzos. He gave them to me and said, put them in my truck. When was the last time you took these? Which what? Diazepam? And the Xanax. I'm not taking Xanax. I see Diazepam. I'm asking you when the last time you took them. I told him, like, it's... Well, I'm asking you because I wasn't around when you asked. 8 o'clock this morning. What about the naloxone? 8 o'clock this morning. Ma'am, you already found a needle. I have some Brillo. Am I going to find any other paraphernalia in there? Like I said. Be honest with me. No. I don't think so. This is all in the purse that you were wearing. Okay? Yeah. And the purse, it's new. So there's no, am I going to find any other paraphernalia in there? No. Okay, well you said no about the needle after that, so I'm just checking. One call nine and one call eight. Copy as you know forty nine. Well, there's narcotics in the vehicle. There so is. We're impounding it. That's right. No, there is narcotics. That's correct. Yeah. Legal or illegal? Well, there was a needle in her purse, and then mix of. She says benzos in her prescription. Did you mix Xanax with her prescriptions? I don't do nothing like that. Okay. All right, all right. She said you did. So uh, um, mix Xanax with her prescriptions. Yes. Yeah, so she has a prescription, and in that prescription, there's other pills. We well, I don't know what she did, but I have I have Xanax. Okay. Well, then I do is it have possible it. that she's taking yeah. your Xanax. <laughs> it's possible. Okay. Because her there's pill bottles that are marked for whatever diazepam. But then there's, it's there's mixed ones. with other pills that she says she took from you or got from you. She could have. And you put the pills in with her stuff. I never put nothing okay. in anything. Yeah. She right. might have got access to my Xanax, okay. which are in my safe. Okay. Um, would but you guys mind waiting by your yeah. truck? Just, yeah, not a problem. I still have I'm going to get her some sealed bottles of alcohol. She hasn't drank them, but I don't know if she's combining her pills with the alcohol. Yeah. Found some Brillo, a needle, and then in this, we have some more brittle, brittle in our own um, box cutter. So we'll put all that in a baggie. Yeah, I'll just put it all in this paraffin area. Then she told me that, oh, well, you were there. She said that he put the Xanax in the bottle. He said I would, I don't do that, but she has access to my safe where I keep my Xanax, so she might be taking it from me. Which makes sense. Clearly is this call on the truck. Yeah, there's something off. And I, she's probably, I told her I'm probably going to ask for urine if she blows zeros. Okay. And she's willing to yeah. do that. But I'll read her implied consent at the jail. <clears throat> What's up? I'm gonna call a tow and have it get towed up in a second, but I'll let you grab what you need. Stuff in the trunk, is that what you need? Yeah, um, trunk and so box. So I just wanna let, let you know, um, in the bag, in her purse, she did have a needle. Yeah. Can she come? I don't wanna say this in front of her. I don't just, we, we, we can talk right here. One second, honey, okay? right there. Well, I'm, I'm not going nowhere. So she had a needle in one of her purses. I don't know if it was used or not. She's saying it's old, but I'm not going it, it might was, be, because that's a, the rest she had. Well, Some girl was with her. The, and per, had, the, the purse. A small little satchel purse or coin purse or whatever was in the purse that she was wearing. I don't. And there was know. something in that. And there was a needle in that. Yeah, she okay. was wearing. Um, well, that's we not a purse. Yeah, we found some Brillo, another bag. That's for sure. Some for Brillo. Smoking. Yeah, more like for consistent with cocaine. For cocaine, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then she had another small bag. You have some more Brillo in a little. Box cutter. Box cutter. For chocolate. So I just wanted to be transparent. Like, you know, so this is what she got arrested for so last time. There's two one, bottles six, of unopened three, zero, vodka one, six, and Crown three, in there. Zero. That's not in there. I know. It's not open. So I don't know if she's mixing her Stephanie. medication with alcohol. Because that's also an indicator. She just told me she bought liquor. Just now. She did buy liquor. She bought a Today. bottle of vodka and Crown. It's not open. She don't drink. But if she's mixing 
both. She don't drink, though. Why would she buy them? I don't know. That's what I'm confused about. I don't know if she's having a binger or she's just going through a, a moment. She's been on it. But see, she, she relapsed about six months ago. Her friend died, okay? Went to the funeral. Turns out the girl she went to the funeral with in Northport was a junkie and got her back on drugs. And I've been going through the night. It's, I've been going through hell. Uh, this isn't the first time we dealt with people doing narcotics behind their significant other's back. If yeah, that's the case, it's not unusual to, be, to hide something, especially the history of being arrested with kids and stuff like that. Well, she's just got arrested twice. Yeah. And now she's a drug court, and I thought she was keeping her nose clean. I thought. Between the testing and the indicators in the vehicle, you know, it's just no, no, it's all added. No, no, I totally agree with you. But um, it, it, She just looks guilty as She's, she's going to go, I'm going to tow, I'm going to get a tow, but if you want to... So just confirming those two bottles of alcohol, you haven't had anything else to drink other than... I not Okay. I've had no alcohol today at all. Okay, do you have any explanation for why you can't do the sobriety tests, why your eyes are so droopy, why your eyes are so bloodshot? If any... Well, they've been bloodshot since I met you, Stephanie. I don't get much sleep. I'm three different kinds of sleep. Okay. Oh, I figured you were going to be crying. I don't know what happened, but they found stuff they shouldn't have found. I know that what's your name threw something under the seat last week when you got arrested. I do know that, but I don't know what what else. Why'd you buy liquor? Cause I bought it for you. Uh, got enough. I don't drink no more. Anyway, listen. Being your own. Drug court. I mean, this is gonna throw you out now. No. Well, don't look at it all. I'm sure. Uh, who do I, I don't call? know if it automatically disqualifies. Do I call your counselor? No. I'm a bond. I don't know if you have a bond. I'll bond you out if I can. For Christmas, I'd like you home, but you got us. But you can't do the test. You fail the sobriety test. Oh my God! I have to do speakers on, babe. You want my sneakers? I got it. I'll give you my sneakers. I just bought a new pair last night. We were shopping. You want sneakers? They're gonna give me slides. No, she's fine. She's blaming the shoes. But oh, oh. This tester break to make so. We, you were supposed to be to see Danielle. Yeah, I was running away. I did. You not now. I can't hear. I can't hear the crap. You were distracting. Well, we'll get through it, you know? You gotta just we'll go. Get, yep. We'll get through it. You're we'll good. get through it, you, you know that. I appreciate it. Hey. We'll get through it. Thank you, Deputy. I mean, sir, officer. It's all right. It's all right. We'll, get, we'll get through this, and things gotta change. I don't know what happened. I don't know if Goldman overdosed you on that stuff, or I gave you, over-medicated you. It could be that he just gave you too much of that sleeping pill. Which still is illegal. It's still a DUI, babe. It's a DUI if, if he gave you a sleeping pill. Okay, all right, pill. we gotta get rolling. So okay, so I'm taking I'm taking everything. I'm going to have him tow it to my yard if I can. I'll get you out if I can, babe. For, it's Christmas. Yeah, show me that's the Sojo. Twenty Twenty Main Street. I love you. Too. I love you. Um, you took diazepam at one o'clock. Yeah. Okay. You took diazepam at 1 o'clock today? Yes. Okay. Not 8 a.m. like you lied to me earlier? I mean, I mean 8 a.m. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure I got that on camera for you.